Good morning, everybody. Nintendo Capri Sun here. Actually, it's probably good afternoon for you, and hello, and welcome back. Might even be good evening if you're in the UK. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario 2. We are on the train. This is the third day. And we got an email. Just can't even take two steps without that thing going off. Oi, you. Oi, Mario. How's your my stash? How's my stash? Life on the island feels great. When the sun rises, I wakey wakey. And when it sets, I tuck in for snoozer time. Well, that's what most people do, I guess. Every now and then, that Cretan Flavio spits out some bit of drivel about treading water instead of seizing the life, but I just tune him out. So, you off on another adventure? I think that suits you best. Give the Mooligans what for saving your princess. What for and save your princess, whatever. Hey, it looks like life is good on the island. So cool. So cool. It's like those pictures in Link's Awakening. It's just charming. It's charming. And, uh, where's Mr. Fatty? Go, Fatty! Brum, ba -da. I'm a shadow, weighs 42 pounds, let me tell you once again. Who's fat? Hmm, let's see. Missy? Missy's not here either, Jolene. Where are you? Alright, and then we know, we know nobody's in the room one. Well, hopefully somebody's still driving. Jeez, can you imagine if he wasn't there? This thing would be flying off the rail. Yeah, he's here. Okay, good. Oh, good morning, sir. It's quite quiet this morning, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I was gonna say. No. Oh, hmm? Is there something on the windshield? Looks like a shoe! Oh my god! What's going on here? Yarg! What are these things? <laughs> oh, aren't those the things from the station yesterday? They must have stowed away. What? Uh, first, we have to ensure the p -p -p passenger safety. B -b 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 but I have to c keep driving the t -t -t train. M -m -m Mario, c can you check on the p -p passengers? Sure, I'll believe I'll do that. Oh man, here I thought we were gonna get a good night's rest. Let's go, Yoshi. Let's go. So where's all the passengers at? Well, those things are outside, but. It's funny, because if you go in here and look in the rooms now, every single window is covered by these nasty-ass things. I mean, get out of here, you know? Don't break the glass. Actually, I probably shouldn't break the glass, because then you'll get in. Hmm. So they didn't really stow away at all. They just got on the outside or something. Hmm. Oh my god! There's, they're all in the dining room. This is all nasty. The cook's gone. Oh my god, the shopkeeper. Are you okay, dude? Let's do some damage control here, make sure everyone's okay. Oh my gosh! Oh, Wah! Oh, I am... There were a lot of black things everywhere. Did you save me? Wow. No, I didn't really save you. I guess you would have been okay. Oh, you don't have to... Oh my gosh, you don't have to do that right now. Dude. Oh. Go hide somewhere! Save yourself! <laughs> Get to the back of the train! So it appears that now, number one, you are the only survivor of this train wreck. And number two, you didn't break a single bone. How is that even possible, man? Frickin' Bruce Willis, that's how. Man, this guy's not here? But what about the expense account, man? What about the expense account? D the bombs aren't here? Is that little kitty bob okay? Oh my god. So where do I go? How do I get outside? Figure out what's going on here. Oh man, they're all over the place back here. Smork, 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 smork. Those little monsters are inside the terrain now. Let's get them! Yeah! Come on! Yeah! 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 Uh huh. Yeah. Huh. Oh, you okay? You okay? Oh, they have the poor conductor. How horrible! Please help him. Oh, I'm going. I'm going. I'm trying. I'm trying. Just get out. Save yourself. Get out of here or something. Ah, yeah, that's right. Whoa. Yeah, get out of here. Man, how many are there? It's, this is ridiculous. Freaking Zerg rush going on here. Oh, Detective Mario, you saved us again. Is she holding a plate? Did she think that would protect her or something? Hey, I must have been taken by those black things while I was sleeping. Scary. So you were sleeping in your clothes then? They seem to have come in through the baggage car through the open window. And they still have many of our paying passengers. Oh, those poor souls! 
Ah, oh, damn it. I guess the insurance doesn't cover this, does it? Wait, what am I doing? I got the thing. Oh, actually, I probably have to grab it from inside there, don't I? I'm just willing to bet. I, mean, I don't really know. See how there's a pipe in the background? You might not notice that. Well, you better notice it pretty soon, because otherwise you ain't, got, you ain't going nowhere. Lucky thing we picked up that move when we did. Crap. There's so many. Get off of me. Get off of me, you bastards. Why you gotta go and attack somebody 10 million to 1? You're a coward. Just keep moving forward. Ah, yeah, that's right. Oh, I can just keep walking. That's fine, too. They're not even grabbing me. Holy crap. They can't catch up now. Smooth! What's going on? Yeah, form into one. Get smaller. Jeez, at least you wouldn't be so intimidating. Ugh. Here it is. It's Spider-Man! He's got the expense account guy. He's got the gold bob guy. What is that gnarly thing? Whoa! It's, oh, let's look. It's got all the other passengers. Yeah, I noticed. He's got that Jolene chick. He's got the cook. He's got the fat guy. He's, oh, man. And here it is, guys. Chapter 6 boss. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. Smorg! Or is that, sh should I say, SMORG! Something like that. I should have changed my partner, probably. At least I have the super jump now. So, hmm, how shall we do this? X. Let's figure out how somebody's got a hammer out there. Somebody's gonna throw a hammer at me! How dare they? Let's see. Special. Maybe I can try to do this again and get it right, but I'm gonna wait till uh, I get my partner, the one that I want, in here. Alright, so 20 FP. We gotta use this wisely. Yoshi, I need to switch you out, which I should have done before, to someone with a. Uh... Let's switch out for Bobby. Dang it. Yeah, these guys are kinda nasty. Oh, too soon there. Man, he's good. It's very tricky to dodge that because of the timing on it and all. So what we need to do is actually get the partner out first and just go all out here. Oh, we got re re repeat it for the push, 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 push. Yeah, sweet. That gets rid of the arms, which each have four HP. And then Mario can just, uh, power bounce. Now, he did six damage to me and only five to Bobbery, whom I assume Bobbery would have zero defense, so I would have negative one defense, which is interesting. I didn't know it could do that. Okay, that wasn't bad at all, actually. Um, you can just attack, I guess. Oh, boom! Yeah, with your upgrade, you're up to seven there. That's pretty sweet. Oh, goodness. Haven't even used any of my star power yet. Oh, I get to go again? Really? Well, damn. I was gonna do a power lift, but I think at this point, I could just... Uh, please tell me I didn't just beat that that easy. I guess I just did. How overwhelmingly anticlimactic indeed. <laughs> S'more! He didn't even get to do his 10 attack thing. He has an attack that does 10 damage. And I was looking forward to maybe trying to super dodge it, because I think I could. Just whatever. There's like a certain timing to it, and I watched it like 10 times. Boy, it's like all you did for three days was save us. How can we ever thank you? Everyone's safe now. It's all thanks to you. Oh, thank you much. You saved you shaved my life. <laughs> no, stupid tongue of mine. You saved my life. So you all know, this dashing fellow has been the famous Luigi all along. So, no. They don't care. Ladies and gentlemen, please prepare. <laughs> Notice how there was like no reaction whatsoever when he said I was Luigi. Now if he had said I was Mario, who knows? If he had said I was Mario. 
Good lord. Bing bong, bing bong! Attention all passengers! Now arriving at Postly Heights! Please watch your step and be sure to take all of your belongings with you. And thank you for choosing the Excess Express. We made it, old boy! Let's find that Postly Sanctum that Professor Frankly spoke of post haste. That's such a great word, post haste. So, yeah, let's get out of here. So, everybody's leaving now. It's gonna be kind of sad to say goodbye now. You've spent all this time with these people, and it's like. And now our time together is over, and it's just like, what? I already got a return ticket. That's right, three more days on the gravy train. Oh, boy. Is that your only reason for even going on this trip? Just be glad you didn't take. Excuse me, be glad you didn't take a plane. So, did everybody leave, or is just certain people? I don't know. I like to check this out. This is just how I want to do this chapter. I want to thoroughly explore it, even though I didn't really thoroughly explore everything at all. Mm, let me go say hi to the driver. <laughs> I know it was a crazy ride, sir, but did you enjoy the XS Express experience? Please come again. I assure you it will be more sedate. Because the XS Express is fabulous! You bet your booty. Okay, I don't. I, I'm just. I'm not gonna bother with room six, seven, and eight. We need to move this. To get this thing moving here. I'm spending a little too much time trying to. You know, I know I just said I was all wanting to be thorough and everything, and I changed my mind like two seconds later. We have a bit of time until our next departure. That's fine. This is the same music that was on the train. I wouldn't know, because I've been hearing that music for the last two days. The business people I'm awaiting for haven't arrived yet, so I'm sightseeing. On the expense account, of course. As if you have to ask by now. Jeez. Hey, guys. We'd dearly like to find a suitable present for our little bub. Hey, mister, I'm gonna get a train set. The coolest one ever invented. I could just have them buy me a real train, but maybe I'll save that for next year. Yeah, and then what the year after that? Then you've maxed out. Then there's nothing more to dream for. No more reasons to dream. Nothing more to want. Wait a minute. Oh, I love this. Jump in the pool back here. You get eaten by the fish, just like anywhere else. It's hard to believe how far that fish goes. Hmm. This is a nice place. I'm gonna smash your shit! I'm gonna smash your shit! Alright. Hmm. I love the just the outline of these Paper Mario places. They're so cool. This is a nice house. I like this. Little patio furniture out here. It's a nice little area back here. Could probably go make a I don't know, have a barbecue or something. Something. Oh hey, it's you. Welcome, you marvelous man. The train journey certainly was thrilling, hmm? Why do you live here? Can I play the piano? Dear God, let me play the piano. I want to play the piano. I want to play the piano. I want to practice. Can you give me piano lessons, ma'am? Tell me that's what you do. Well, whether or not it's official or not, she is now a piano teacher. That's what she just became in my mind. Because that's not Jolene, first of all. Because she doesn't have, like, the thing that the other one did. I don't know. She's got more of that Grace Kelly look. Whereas Jolene is more like... Uh, Naomi Watts or something, I don't know. I need to take a drink here, my mouth is drying out. Pick up a star piece there. Oh, hello. Hey, are you... You're not that same guy. I've heard Postley Heights was a quiet place, but there are lots of tourists, eh? Maybe I should just open up a store selling Shiver City souvenirs. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> nice little Paper Mario 1 reference there. I believe that was from Paper Mario 1, Shiver City. If I'm wrong, then I'm incredibly stupid. Stupid. I guess it's sort of fun to live here, but I can't eat snow cones, or make a little snowman, or go ice skating, or any of the stuff I did in Shiver City, eh? I don't know what you'll get, don't know what you got till it's gone. And you? So, lovely house, eh? Yeah, sure would take all your time to soak in all of its majesty, hmm? I built it with even the smallest details in mind, making every nook special. 
Not only the interior, but the facade as well. Yeah, look around the outside, too. Okay, smash, smash. I like your rainbow books here, though. This is nice. Got your jars down here. On the bottom shelf, we have two jars of red jello and one jar of pea. Second shelf up, two boxes of Kleenex. Third shelf up, a train. Fourth shelf up, another train. And a plant! Alright, so let's check out the outside. The hotel, wow, a nice big hotel here. And they put the, like, the bed sign in the bushes. Because I guess they just couldn't find anywhere else to put it. Well, I'll check that out in a minute. Let's jump over here. Oh, it's you guys, again. We are the wandering girls, traveling sisters three. We're staying in that luxury hotel. Possibly High Street is the place for the rich and famous, huh? We're thinking of going to see Possibly Sanctum next. Yeah, so was I. What a coincidence. Welcome to you. Oh, I didn't know this place was called you. Thanks. I'd like to buy some high-quality fresh pasta as a Possibly souvenir. One package costs 50 coins. I'll buy it. I'll take that action. My Oh, my God. You have too much stuff. We sell you store something. Okay, fine. Can I... No, I can't do that here, can I? Oh, I saw a... Oh, in coupon. Okay. Mm. So I throw out the dried shroom after all. There, it's a much better home for you than that underground place. I feel better now. My dried shroom has a happy home. Man! Bonjour, Monsieur Mustache. The last is as the reception desk is très magnifique. I shall stay here every night until thy terror is mine. I shall not tire, Hong. Are you talking about that guy over there? I don't think that's a girl, is it? Is it a girl? Oh, maybe, maybe it is. Just can't see the pigtails or whatever. Welcome, sir. This is the Royal Poshley Park Tower. We promise a comfortable stay in the lap of luxury at the pinnacle of poshness. A room for the night cost a mere 30 coins. Would you care to stay? Let's give it a shot. Sir, you have an in coupon. Would you care to use it? Yes. We appreciate you staying with us, sir. We have prepared the penthouse on the top floor for you. I trust it will be to your liking. Please make yourself at home. Oh, this is going to be good. Mm -mm. Nothing like a hotel elevator. This thing's going way up there, too, man, I tell ya. I hope Bruce Willis isn't on top of it, laying on top of it. <laughs> Mario doesn't even have to... I don't. You don't even have to tell Mario to get in the bed. He just goes there by himself. Yeah, I bet Mario was tired after that excruciating fight that we just had. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I want to I wanna explore the room, dude. I thought you were going to... Wait, the elevator doesn't just go straight to the room. It goes to a hallway, which goes to the room. Unless the room is the entire floor, and that's a pretty small... Okay, whatever. I mean, I guess... Yeah, she does have pigtails in her, or whatever you call those. Horse tails. Did you sleep well, sir? We have set out a gourmet meal prepared by the famous chef Zesty on the table. And were you satisfied with our service, sir? Most excellent. We look forward to your next visit. Yeah, well, considering I got it for free... Oh, what do we got here? You got an omelet meal. Replenishes 5 HP and 5 FP, huh? Better than nothing. I'll take it. Okay, so next time on, on Paper Mario 2, we are going to explore more of Poshley Heights and see if we can find the star piece, or the star... whatever it's called. The crystal star, yeah, that thing. So... See you guys then. Goodbye.